So, as you can see, we're in Prague again. Probably pushing the 40s or very close there of the Prague vlogs. Um, although, right now I'm, I've just put up number 34 on the internet, so uh, I'm still in the middle of my zoo ones as far as uploading them is concerned. And prior to this ever getting shown, I will have already given you my new agenda for the second thousand. Uh, uh, videos on YouTube in this channel because <clears throat> basically I'll have well within a few more videos I'll have got to my thousandth video I'm going to be doing the uh, thousandth video video to comm commemorate my thousand, thousand videos on YouTube and saying what the general agenda will be, what the plan is going forward. And the first stage of the plan is that slowing slightly down on the uh, on the kind of content that we've had so far but the good news is that I want to get back on to more of the Hooliganov Russian le lessons and get that course done, finished. So in the second thousand videos then the emphasis will be on getting that course finished and then another emphasis will be more on readings. One of the reasons for changing this of course is that, you know, I'm tending to, well it's, it's, a, it's all very nice to take the camera with me on a walk and I certainly intend to do that, but um, look at the size of these midges. I don't know what, they're quite large, I don't know if you can see them properly, but uh, dancing there over the river. So when I go for a walk to lose weight, you know, certainly it's nice to take the camera with me and get your company but I don't always have something new and interesting to say every single time most of what I have to say you've probably heard quite a few times I can't always make up amusing jokes for the things that I see because they're the same things um, well either I'm not in the mood for jokes or, or they're, they're the same things that we've already seen and joked about before so there's only so much that you can really do with exactly the same views and the same walks and the same things so, uh, and always going and ending up in the astronomical clock, no matter where you go. It's now just after nine o'clock here in Prague. And I feel like a bit, of, on the one hand, it would be good to walk a bit, get the weight off. On the other hand, it's, uh, I got up very early, so I don't, I'd like to have an early night. So I'm kind of torn between two ways of thinking about it. And I think I'll go for the early night and then have a walk tomorrow. That sounds probably the better way of, of, of arranging it. I'm probably going to have a, a, quite a bit of walking on anyway, just because of what I've got planned for tomorrow. So uh, maybe that's the, the way to go on it. Just had the company of a friend of mine at uh, supper, so... Uh, there's your Clarion Hotel. Just to make things a little bit different, I think I'll go in. Instead of just walking down there like I've done before, I'll walk through the little back ways here to get uh, back to my flat, show a few of the details off. But basically it's going to be more reading, poetry, creative writing that I've done before, more stuff about the gold list, 
more stuff. This, this comes from really analysing what you like about the channel. The stuff which you've watched and commented on the most. That's going to be the stuff which I do. I've noticed that a lot of these travelogues or walking with the cameras, they're, you know, they're struggling to get 100 views. Whereas if I put something, you know, like a hooligan of lesson, in the same time, it would get you know, four or five times the number of views and uh, have an abiding appeal for people. So uh, that's probably the way that I would seek to go on it. All right, this looks like somebody's painting the... the signs again. He's got a special sign painting machine with him and he's making so that they're all the right length, the right width rather. That's how they do it. They've got these frames, they put down like that they paint inside the frame and then they move the frame. If you ever wondered how they go about painting signs on roads, you know, the zebra crossings and that, now you know. They're not just big transfers that people come along and rub down with a pencil. So this, this team here seems to be doing quite a lot of them because they're all spick and span and nice and white and everything here. And a slight smell of paint on the air from it. So we're right next to the Clarion Hotel Prague. Um, it's got lots of flags on it. I think that's Italy, Spain, Germany, America, Russia, the European Onion. Britain, France, Israel, and Russia again, if I'm not mistaken. Could be Slovakia, though. You can't tell when it's at that. Why Russia would be twice, I don't know. One of them's probably the Slovakian flag, but you can't tell because the, the, the shield thing in the middle is uh, not showing when it's not up like that. So, what can I do here? Could go down that way, and the back, or could just come down here a little bit. This is Hastal's Hush Tal Scar. Shall I go down there? This is a little bit too, too boring going just down that one. But this one might be all right. Well, it says it's a no through road. I should add to the appeal a bit. Yeah, it looks like that applies to pedestrians as well. That's a bit boring. But there is a path. Maybe this path takes me to another dimension. Just to watch the paint. That is a very badly graffitied door. Now being accompanied by a, a rather moving swarm of these nasty insects. Is this I'm right following the elaborate road here a bit? Is this going to actually take me anywhere or not? Oh, look, Pamatni Strom, which means memorial tree. It's an oak. The oak is a symbolic tree. The Germans in particular loved to use oak leaves as symbols. They were to the Germans what the laurels were to the Greeks. And they talked about 
Die Deutsche Eiche and even Goethe refers to the oak a lot in his poetry. Schon stand in Nebelkleid die Eiche, ein aufgetürmter Riese da, wo Finsternis durch, den, durch das Gesträuche mit hundert schwarzen Augen sah. So, there you go. Interesting kind of courtyard. Obviously, of some ancient provenance. There's no apparent reason for it to be here. Two dogs greeting each other. And of course people have no respect whatsoever for this heritage because they just write their stupid comments that aren't even legible on these walls and this, this detract from the beauty of the place and they just don't care that they do it. Bloods. What you'd like to do is turn them into bit bloods or drops of blood with bits of tissue hanging around them. You'd like to kind of put them through a bit of a mincer for their idiocy. If only you could catch them. What right do these people have to take a wall which could be a really beautiful alley and deface it? What right do these people have to do it? This is not their window, why did they write on it? So here we go, restaurant Agnes and Hotel Casa Marcello. Here we are at the back of a church building. Restaurant Uchervone Hocola, traditional Czech restaurant But in order to be sure how to go ahead with this second thousand videos on this channel, I really need the feedback to know what, what bits you liked, what bits you didn't like, what bits you want to see more of in the future. Yeah, people are going to say, yeah, get back on the hooligana thing, I know that. But the problem is that it takes more time than other things. So what I intend to do about that is, well, while, while the summer's here and I've got the evenings to walk in, probably not so much of it, because I, I don't want to lose my time when I can walk. But what I will start doing is I'll start taking to Prague when I've got not so much to do in the evenings, because I'm on my own, my family are not there, so I get the peace to do it. I'll actually start taking to Prague the wherewithal to actually film, maybe I'll just set up something that will enable me to film it with this camera. The whole uh, lesson, or plan the lessons in the evening and do them in a way which... I didn't really do so far, not last winter. And then when winter comes, and that will give me something to do on the nights when I can't really go out and walk which will be a benefit. That's when the hooligan, of course, will start moving forward. I'll try and do one, a, one every two weeks then, using that time that's available. And then that will enable me, over the course of the winter, maybe to do, I don't know, 10, 12. 
that should then finish off the uh, that should be enough to finish off the good old 102 course and to get into the 103 course there's a limit to what you can talk about at the 10 level so I think another 12 lessons and that'll be all I need for that there's a nice restaurant this is the Hotel Hashtal and those were that's La Degustation those were not the, the uh, people coming out of the Chinese restaurant, the Chinese restaurants down there they were Chinese by the looks of them but uh, there's a very good Chinese restaurant that's down there a very good one now this is taking me, I'm not entirely sure where but I'll try it anyway I think I recognise it in the end yes yeah, this is Dlouha coming up again Dlouha and here is a nice music shop you've got the Parrots of the Caribbean done in an old fashioned kind of cover but unmistakably the faces of Ky Kyra Neatley or whatever her name is and Johnny Depp here's the Renaissance guitar also redone with modern actors I think it's Leonardo DiCaprio on the right um, what's her face from Bridget Jones there on the left nice hair clips oh that would be nice for my daughter she likes music with Mozart and all of that hair clips like that with, with notes on this is a sheet music shop Udeb Nini sheet music so Udeb Slovnik little voices singing ABBA bar piano two at one piano so vingt deux morceaux pour piano so if you want to go to this shop it is open Monday to Friday until 6pm which is the reason it would be tough for me to, to get there because I mean I go to work before it opens and come back after it closes some people don't work as hard as I do that's the thing that's why they don't get my money simple as that so there we are, there's a little walk basically keeping up for the time being the uh, the tradition that I have of walking with the camera yeah they'll still carry on I'll be doing it but I just want the the amount of it the mix to change subtly but how can you say I mean over over a thousand videos I mean uh, the mix has changed several times over the course of the first thousand videos so no that the mix is not going to remain exactly the same for another thousand videos either it'll probably be changing subtly month on month and year on year with new things coming in but certainly I mean to bring the readings in a bit more certainly including some readings from scripture amongst other things and from literature my own short stories, my own poems and also others from writers that I like obviously I wouldn't bother reading anything from people that I didn't like unless it was to take the mickey out of it but uh, I might do some of them in characters again which is pretty much the way that things started off um, on the channel might do a bit more of that, might do a bit more singing at some point but uh, probably less of the just, I mean for the last hundred it's been mainly walking with camera and I think that that's going to change so that it's not mainly that, it's mainly something else so there you are that's the agenda.
thank you for your company. This is my door. I have a big key ring. Got too many keys on it. And you have to go through a kind of airlock that locks twice because you have to do it again. That's to stop all the undesirables like tourists and what have you from getting into the Thing into the inner sanctum, which is this. Yeah, well, there's a. I have to film this at some stage because it's just so, you know, since I'm at it, I might as well make a good job of it, yeah? No smoking. And they have this notice board where they put things up for the other people. And it says here, Ani Vlastnik Beetle. See nemůže dělat co se, yeah? Even the owner of a flat can't just go ahead and do what he likes with it, yeah? Um, and he is, please don't take this down, is written here, yeah? And this information is for everybody in this house. Which I hadn't read it because it was in better check than I could read at the beginning, but I probably will read it at some stage. But obviously it's not very popular with the residents because they've pockmarked him with one of these pens. So they obviously don't think too much of the guy who's talking there. I didn't do that, by the way. So, there we go. Osobni Vitach. Maximum three people and 250 kilograms. In my case, that wouldn't even be two people. So here I am. Dostner is the name of the people who make the lift. And, uh, it says here, three persons only makes to 50 kilograms again. And that says, in English, oddly enough, the end, which just goes to show that there's a lot of people in this flat which are... It says, dear neighbours, the new safety operation system enables to leave the inside lift doors open when the lift is empty, but they must be closed properly when loaded, which you think is an instruction as to how the thing works. And it says, for some strange reason, it says, please do respect the rules. Thank you. I don't know why you need to respect them. I mean, that's how the thing works, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, why well, you have to particularly respect it? It's very, very small, actually. If you see this space in there, it's just really big enough only for one person, really. Another person does it if squeeze. So. There you are now, you know where I live. Don't all come buy it once. Yeah. So thanks for your company, like I said, and cheers for now.